Hey YouTube, so I just wanted to talk about my games that I get from Japan and how I get them. So some friends、uh, have asked me where I get my games and I thought it would be a good time to talk about that on the video. So I usually buy them used unless they're pre-orders and I don't usually pre-order my games from Japan unless I think that it's going to go up in price or I think that it's going to be a good game. Or there are like、uh, franchises that I really, really like, like the Persona series. So I did pre order、uh, Persona 3 Dancing Moon Knight and Persona 5 Dancing Star Knight. Star Knight, I think that's, yeah. So I pre ordered the two in one combo package. And I do this on Amazon usually. When I pre order games, because I think the shipping is decent.、Um, either decent or the same price that you would pay if you use the proxy service where you buy something, you send it to a specific address of the, the proxy, and then they, you pay them and they'll send it to you, to the States or wherever you are at.、Um, I like using Amazon shipping service because they're pretty fast. So let's say the game comes out on, I don't know, the first of the month. So they'll ship it out on the second, sometimes first or third. And then you'll get that game in like three days. Usually it comes to me in three days. So in less than a week since the date comes out, you already have the game from Japan. And I've never had a problem with them. Nothing ever came to me broken or anything like that. And the shipping price is reasonable.、Uh, so, for example, the Taiko game, the Drum Masters box was like, I did an unboxing. The box was like this big. And it wasn't light or it wasn't heavy. It was maybe like five pounds, less than five pounds. And it cost me less than $20 for shipping. So I thought it was reasonable.、Uh, but. I feel like sometimes it does get a lot more expensive if you buy heavier stuff, of course. So, if I'm going to buy used games,、uh, that's a different story because if you buy from third party, they don't have the international shipping from Amazon because they're different sellers.、Um, you would have to use a proxy for that. And it's not complicated, but I use a site called goyokikia.com. And they've been pretty good. They'll keep your package for up to a month without any feeds. And it's free to consolidate all the packages into one. It doesn't matter if they come in different packages, they'll put it into one package and send it to you. So, usually, or in some places, they'll charge you for consolidating the packages. And I do usually buy like in different occasions or different days. Because sometimes I'll see one game and I'm like, oh, but I don't want anything else. I'll just buy that. And the next day I'll see something else and I'm like, oh, I didn't see this. And I'll buy that game too. And as for the pricing, I would just look、uh, into like two or three different sites to compare prices for used games.、Um, so one of the sites is, of course, Amazon. You can see all the new, the new sealed packages, and also you have prices for the used packages and all the conditions. The thing that I don't like about buying used is that they don't show you any pictures. But usually in Japan, when they say they're in good shape, it, they're in really good shape. I've never had a problem where they say they're in good shape and I've got it all without manuals or no box or stuff like that. So that's not really a problem, but it does. It is better if you can see the pictures, and some of the sellers do like upload some of the pictures of the games. But usually, in the descri description, they'll say if it's missing something. So, I'll look on Amazon, and then there's another site called Surugaya.、Uh, they use a whole bunch of used figures,、uh, games, books, all the stuff that you could ever want. You'll probably find it there. It's just that they, took they take very long to ship, sometimes up to two weeks, depending on the season. So, if you, would, if you buy something on like holidays, in the holidays, it will probably take you two weeks to get to the proxy service. 
but sometimes they have really really good prices especially for figures uh, they have they usually have cheaper prices than, uh, compared to Amazon used but not all the time and they do have like uh, sales going on every week so you'll get like 10% off all the video games or 15% off stuff like that but I have had problems there where it's missing something they said it was complete and I got it without the box and since that site doesn't have great customer service and they and you're not sending directly to the states from them you won't be able to return it unless you pay your own shipping and stuff like that so it's not worth returning anything so that's a little bit of a risk if you're going to buy some expensive stuff but with games uh it was pretty good i got my hatsune miku like the the beta the limited edition beta for like 160 dollars and the only thing that was missing it did say in the description that it was missing was the original power cable pop the charger so i got that i've also gotten like used 3ds that was sealed actually but it said used and for a good good price stuff like that uh so yeah some of the stuff they sell they say used but sometimes they're new it's kind of weird but yeah so it's a good place to buy if you don't mind waiting a lot also i check on book off uh no net net off book off i'll put it in the description uh so it's the online site website for book off which is a place uh in japan where they or there there are some locations in california too they sell used books cds uh, movies dvd i mean movies and games so they don't have good prices but sometimes they do and sometimes if i want to find a music like albums from japan i would go there also and buy some games with it you know but they don't have the best prices online um so yeah but i would i will check just in case they have something cheap but mostly i just use amazon and i used to use a lot uh, i used to use surugaya a lot more before but i figured that it's just easier to buy everything from amazon because it's only all in one place and yeah so that's how i get my games um so in Japan, the used games are really cheap. Most games you can get for less than $20 on the Vita or on the 3DS. I feel that the Vita games are more expensive than the 3DS. Some of the 3DS games you can get for like $5 used or less. Like uh, I think the first Yokai Watch game, since it's already a little kind of old and they already have lots of sequels it's pretty cheap used i got it for six dollars um games like mm, some games like the toriko you know from the shonen jump series i think i've seen it for like two dollars used in a complete in box so if you want to pick up like japanese exclusive games for the 3ds i would recommend getting them used because unless you want the sealed copy um because it's really really cheap for the Vita, they're inexpensive too, but not as much. The most inexpensive game I've seen are like the are like maybe six dollars, which was like uh, the Oreshka game that didn't sell very well in Japan, or that it didn't do very well in Japan. So I think the price really dropped. Uh, but most of them are under twenty dollars. Some of them are kind of more expensive. But yeah, I do recommend especially for the 3d game 3ds games getting them used because it's really cheap but yeah anyways so that's how i get my games from japan i don't use play asia or those sites i don't use ebay anymore i used to because i didn't know that those things ex existed the proxy service but i did my own research and i figured it would be cheaper to get for myself uh, buy from myself from Amazon and send, get them sent here. Uh, I think Play Asia is okay if you don't want to go through the process of making your own account for the proxy site and you know 
wait for the shipping from the store to the proxy and then from proxy to your house. But if you are getting new games, I would just order it directly off of Amazon and have it sent to me directly. So Amazon didn't used to have this uh, international shipping for video games, but they do now. So, so yeah, everybody should like take advantage of it because it's not expensive. The shipping is not expensive. Expensive, sorry. If you think about how fast it gets here. So yeah, I do recommend Amazon for international shipping. And I think that's about it. Uh, so let me know in the comments uh, below if you have any experiences from uh, buying in Japan. I might talk about uh, stores actually in physically in Japan that you could go to if you ever visit there and which ones are the best places to buy games and figures and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them quickly. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.